I'm back. Hey, um, so hey, great news. You, you got a deal, right? Mm -hmm. You got a deal. And uh, congratulations. So the work's over now. Time to party. <laughs> Time to celebrate. At least once, right? You'll celebrate once. You will. But then, obviously, the work really begins. And the topics we'll talk about are those. Those are the topics we'll talk about. Connected, truce, asking for help. Um, stay connected. So you raise this money. You met a ton of people. Some of them decided to invest. Again, the earlier stage you are, they could be friends and family. The middle stages, it could even include Series A investors. Early angels, and you know, you probably gave up a board seat to get a true VC. They want to be part of your team. No matter so, no matter where you kind of were, people gave you their money. They think you're going to be successful. They want to help you be successful. They're going, they're going to be part of the team. At a minimum, and some people already touched on this as they talked earlier. I mean, even when we talked about. Casey, even if you are just raising money, you're still, you know, keeping people informed of where you're at. You know, here's how I'm doing, um, and that's what we're talking about here. Email monthly, quarterly. I get a ton of these from all my investments, and some of them don't. And then the next thing you know, they've probably fallen off, you know, the planet, and uh, that's not good. People want to know about runway. So runway is the amount of money left based on no growth in sales. If you have no sales, it's that number. Pretty easy. You might have sales. But based on no increase in sales, so whatever that sales is producing in margin against your expenses, you know, divide that up by the amount of money you have in the bank, and that becomes your runway. Sales progress, easy. HR needs, why is that in there? It's gonna be in here in this document a couple times. That means you never hired that accountant, you never hired that, whatever that specialty is, whatever leg of the stool. See again if this early investor, or whatever, angel investor, Seed investor, venture investor, whatever. Can they help out? And then everybody wants to know about wins and losses. Wins are sales typically. Wins could be new employees. Losses are kind of the opposite, right? Lost key members of the team. Couldn't hire key members, can't hire. And of course, uh, sales. And in this concept of an annual meeting, that doesn't have to be, I mean, unless you have kind of public equity or public debt of some sort, this is not very formal. But investors want to keep up. Sometimes it keeps them in the same room together once a year. Well, this is hard, especially if it's a sales-oriented leader, right? You got to stop pitching. Now you've raised the money. You've you've gotten their money. Now all people want to know is the real numbers, and what they really want to know is the pipeline. And I don't know how many investments I'm in where people want to tell me about this huge pipeline. And, well, what's the percentage? Well, I think it's going to be 100%, you know, on every one on their prospect list. And anybody who's been in business knows Kaylee probably has a feel. You've got a lot of accounts. You're probably constantly talking to more prospects. Everybody's not 100%. If they are 100%, then they're already a customer, really. I mean, because until they say yes, it can be yes or, or no, right? And, you know, somebody's heard me say this, not maybe in this room, but all buyers are liars until what? Until they prove it, prove it or prove otherwise, write the check, right? Until they prove otherwise. And uh, that, that's not bad. It's just reality. Shared team dynamics. Um, I, I didn't write this slide, but uh, whatever. Uh, the good and the bad, right? Uh, because, again, your investors, this is, this, again, this is to the investors. You're talking to the investors. Yeah, you know, Judy over here really is making it tough for me. You know, Judy over here wants a raise. Judy's husband over here says that she works 80 hours a week. You know, you know everything's about, and it's like, you can share that with your your your, your people that have gave, given you money that, you know, Judy's kind of being a little tough. Especially when you're a four person company, right? If you're a 20, 30 person growing business, Judy may be really important, but you're not one out of four or one out of three, like you may be in the early days. And last but not least, you know, I tell everybody this. I hope I've never lied to any company I've ever sold. I've never done any of that because I couldn't keep track of all the lies. I mean, you talk to hundreds of people a year. How can you keep track of that? So don't ever fib or lie, white lie. You know, just tell the truth. Just it's easier. That way you don't have to really remember what you said because you only told them the truth. So based on what I told you before was the truth. And now hopefully based on what I'm telling you now is the truth as well. Am I behind on slides? Um, 
again, this, I think we've repeated this too many times. These early investors are, are rarely passive. Passive, passive means they kind of throw the money over the wall and don't really care. That means they want to be involved. Use their experience, leverage their network. I think that's as important as anything. You know, if it's a healthcare investor and you got some healthcare deal, leverage their network. If you're an ag company, ag technology, you got all these ag investors, leverage their network. Obviously, you want them to be pilot customers or custom paid customers, but they have also a network. You're an insurance and you're an insurance guy and you got an insurance investor, what are you going to do? Leverage their network. Ask for advice, ask for mentorship. You're not going to get along with every investor perfectly, whether it's your lead or almost lead or people you've known the longest, get help. Constantly ask for help, constantly ask for advice. The last point is, I think we've already said this again on another side, again, if something happens, you lost your accountant, can't afford an accountant, but you know, boy, two or three of your advisors or accountants, ask them to help out, or how can we find a low cost accounting, but maybe without even hiring somebody. Um, you know, there's lots of indicators, right? And, and you're gonna you're gonna send out some reports, gonna say, hey, kind of here's how things are going. And again, I, I like to see that in one page. You know, one email, one page, how many bullets as possible. I don't need a long paragraph after paragraph to know you're a great writer. I just want to know the facts. Sales are up, sales are down. Pipelines up, pipelines down. Employees, runway, um, hiring. Um, this has some concept of operating where you're on expenses. Payroll, hopefully you're okay there. Obligation, I'll tell you there's one I was just working with right now. And uh, successful company, but profitable. Their biggest customer hasn't been paying on time. And you know, they don't make a lot of money. They make a quarter million dollars a year, but when the biggest company's not paying on time, they're having problems making payroll. And uh, so you just gotta know your numbers. I mean, you go, wow, it's a successful company, it's profitable, can't make payroll. Because their biggest customer's laid on their checks. Um, that's reality. They want to tell their investors, here's what's going on. You know, that CEO offered, hey, I cannot pay, cash my check. Go, so guys, we'd rather put some more money in just to make sure you get through payroll. And that's after their line of credit. Uh, miracles don't happen. You control them through resources. You know, I guess where I wanted to just do this, um, if you ever, and, and you, this is already said, but if you ever want to raise money, don't burn any bridges. And people have already said that, right? I mean, again, whether it was, uh, we'll pick on uh, Matt, you know, three out of four said no, one fourth said yes. I had a conversation before he left, before he left. next time, Matt. Next time, uh, I maybe, you know, maybe, don't forget me next time. So stay, you know, stay, uh, stay uh, in contact. That's the biggest thing. Share the good, share the bad, and then hopefully good things will happen.